Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Arjun. I'm Dr. Paul Zalza. Uh, wait, I'm Dr. Brad Weenie. Wait, Paul, that's not our, that's not the name of our show. What did I say? Talking with Dr. Krishna. Oh, 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 Arjun. Sorry, talking with Docs. Yeah. See, you've got the last video we made with you has sort of um, got a big uptick. For us, a big uptick means like 20 people watched it at the same time, which is big for us. Wow, that's a lot. And I actually saw you on the cover of Anesthesia Monthly. Oh, yeah. I noticed that you're on the cover, so <laughs> you're kind of a big deal. All right. Dr. Krishna is our guest anesthetist. Thank you very much. We made a video with him before um, about spinal anesthetic. And, uh, it ha you know, there's a lot of interest. And we've got a lot of comments about it. And people want to know more. We want more Arjun. More Arjun. So uh, we were hoping you could discuss general anesthetic with us today. Well, thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. So, Arjun, what's a general anesthetic? So, a general anesthetic is a form of anesthesia, which basically is how people go to sleep when they're having surgery. So, it's what typically people would consider uh, being under or going to sleep. And essentially what it is, is, is a, a variety of medications that we use to get the person comfortable from a pain point of view, ensure that they're um, not conscious during the surgery, making sure that they're breathing well, making sure that their blood pressure and other sign, vital signs like heart rate, oxygen levels are all well taken care of. Okay. And then we uh, use medication to treat pain, nausea, and then other medications to keep you asleep, other medications to wake you up. It's a combination of things. So we've come a long way from ether, where essentially you were just asleep. Yes. Okay. Or a bullet to bite while the <laughs> procedure happened. Yeah. So this is a general anesthetic, a GA, combination of many medications to make you really uh, unconscious, really, and um, amnesic as well, you mentioned? Yes. So you, you will, the various components essentially are that your muscles will be relaxed so that the surgery can be done well by the surgeons, by you guys. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to basically have no awareness. You're going to essentially have no memory. And you're gonna, your pain is going to be well controlled as well. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Now, is all general anesthesia treated equal? So do you always have to have something to help the person breathe? Um, yeah, so there's, there are uh, various factors that can influence what a general anesthetic involves. But typically there is going to, and those, those factors include um, things like the, the patient's medical problems. So okay. if you have certain health uh, conditions, that may influence what kind of medications you get and what kind of breathing support you need for the, for the surgery. Okay. And then the other is also what type of surgery you're having itself. So that, that's where you guys come in, depending on the types of surgery the, the surgeons are doing, yep. uh, they need different medications or different, also different things. Like location of surgery as well as length of surgery probably are the... Uh, yeah, exactly. And also yeah, the location, meaning the, the specific organ system, yes. the body part. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Okay. So general anesthetic, then you don't always need to take over the person's breathing. Sometimes they're not so sedated that they can still breathe on their own. Or is it when you say general anesthetic, then yeah, we're going to take over your breathing for you because you're going to be yeah. so sedated, you won't be able to breathe on your own. Which one is it? Uh, correct. So basically it's the fact that if you have a general anesthetic, your breathing will at the very least be lazy and you need support with okay. a breathing device. So under all circumstances, when you're having a general anesthetic, you will have a breathing device. And that okay. breathing device is hooked up to a breathing machine, which supports, if not completely takes over your breathing. Okay, so the breathing, and now what about circulation? Is your heart still doing its job or do you have to augment that as well? The heart is still beating. Your blood pressure is controlled and we use medications to make sure that those things stay stable. Okay. Yeah. Just the last thing, and not to oversimplify it, would you say that there are really two main ways to protect the airway itself during a general anesthetic? And could uh, you talk about them? Yeah, sure. So there are two main types of breathing devices that we use. Um, one is an endotracheal tube. Okay. And an endotracheal tube is basically a tube that passes through the mouth down into the windpipe. Okay. Um, and so it goes beyond your vocal cords into your windpipe. Okay. The other is called a laryngeal mask or an LMA. And that one basically sits just beyond the tongue in the back of the mouth. Okay. And we choose which one of those two based on the type of surgery you're having and the other various factors we just were kind of mentioning before, the organ system and right. the needs of the surgeon. And so the LMA is not to be confused with the LMAO. That's right. <laughs> okay. So can you run through the four things one more time, the four components? It was something for pain, amnesia, those four. Yeah. So there's pain control, pain control amnesia, yep. amnesia, so not remembering anything, mm -hmm. uh, being like calm and sedated, asleep. And then the last one is relaxed muscles. What was the second one again? 
Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so those are the four components of a general anesthetic. And like we do with everything, we talk about how it's done, and we always like to talk about the risks and complications that can happen. Yes. So this is the bad part to hear. Fortunately, with most of the things that we do, the risks of complications are very low, but it's important to be aware of them before you undertake something like this. So what are some of the risks or bad things that can happen with the general anesthetic? Sure. Okay. So as you said, fortunately with general anesthesia nowadays, um, the technology is advanced and things are extremely uncommon in terms of uh, side effects or complications. The common types of side effects or complications people get include having pain from surgery uh, that may require more pain medication, having maybe drowsiness after surgery, um, nausea. Those are probably the common ones. Other ones would include sore throat. Um, not as common, but can happen is damaging the teeth, dental right. damage. That can happen while we're placing one of those two different breathing devices. It's not very common, but definitely it's known to happen. The very severe risks that people would most likely be uh, uh, scared of would be things like your heart, affecting your heart and your breathing. Yep. Uh, those kind of complications are very rare and they mostly will depend on the uh, health issues that any given person has going for surgery. So those would be if you had a heart attack, your heart stops during surgery, if you're breathing, having breathing issues during surgery, and then ultimately death, extremely rare. Right. Those are the bad ones. I'd say that with a lot of the procedures we do, I always tell patients, you know, heart attack, stroke, death, those are the, the, the bad three, obviously, things that we really don't want to happen, but they yeah. are very, very, very rare uh, in the setting of the procedures, in most of the procedures we do, unless, of course, there's emergency procedures we do, then pe people who are not healthy, those can be higher risk, but generally for elective surgery, those risks are very, very low. Yep. I think we should see a general anesthetic procedure performed okay. by you, Dr. Krishna. Sure. Let's, okay. Uh, Happy to. Let's transition to that video. It smells a little funny, like it's got a plasticky kind of smell. That's just the mask, okay? So you can just focus on slow breaths in and out, just nice and slow, and um, we'll give that medication there a second to work. So now you're going to start getting the medicine that makes you fall asleep, okay? So just focus on nice slow breathing, everything's going perfectly fine. You might feel a bit of a sting in your hand, that's normal, that's just the medication as it's going in, okay? Sometimes it burns the vein, it's nothing wrong, it's totally normal. doing there sir you can you open your eyes so i'm just going to check if he's asleep now his eyes are still a little open but we can check by his eyelids when they start moving basically he's asleep so that's almost there we're going to give him a few more seconds before we place a breathing device we're using something called a laryngeal mask that's just going to sit behind the tongue in the back of the mouth So now the eyelash reflex is gone. So we're gonna try placing the device. So we just open the mouth here. And then we just slip this in nice and gently around the tongue. There we go. And now it's sitting perfectly. 
Okay, and that's it. You just secure the tube now and then the machine. Yeah, and now we'll start giving him some more anesthetic through this breathing device here. He'll start breathing some more medication. Okay, okay. Right. That, was, uh, that was amazing. As usual, you got to see up close and personal. Um, thanks to the patient who consented to allow us to videotape that, which is very kind and very useful for other people who are undergoing surgery. Um, very, very useful. Thanks so much to Dr. Krishna for showing us that and educating us about general anesthesia. Thank you so much. Will you join us again for another video at Absolutely. some point? Absolutely. My you. pleasure being here. Thanks, and guys. Do you, do you, before they go off to sleep, do you often say to them, whatever you do, don't go towards the light? Or is that just, that's not a thing? It's not no, a thing. not a thing. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. Remember, you are in charge of your own life. And if you like it, please like this video, share some things in the comments, and let us know your experience with general anesthetic. We'll see you next time.